So students who are applying for financial aid will need this thing called an FSA ID. If you're on the federal student aid account, sometimes they call it creating an account. The student applying for financial aid and for dependent students, at least one parent on the FAFSA will need to create one of these accounts. It takes time to set up because there's a great deal of security involved and they do want students to be able to have a non-school email address where they can be in contact. So students wanna sign up for that FSA ID using a, a free email address that is not their high school. Many high schools in Vermont will turn off a student's high school email address once they graduate. And because communication with federal student aid goes on beyond high school graduation and often beyond college graduation, because this can be used for student loans, students need to have an email address that will always be available. This is something that families can do right now. There's no uh, limitation on time for that. You just need to keep track of it so that you don't forget. So let's talk about how and when students can apply for aid. The main application that you will wanna file is the free application for federal student aid, also called FAFSA. I guarantee you, if you kept a jar and you put a quarter in every time you said FAFSA during the senior year, you might be able to get something nice at the end of this process. It is the main financial aid form that will gather parent and student information, income, both taxable and non-taxed, assets, family size, number in college, age of older parent. Filing the FAFSA is free. So you do not need to pay someone to file this form for you, and you certainly do not need to file the form and pay for it to happen. There are some websites on there that will say that they will file your FAFSA for you and charge you a fee. You do not need to do that. This application is required by all colleges that have federal financial aid available to you. And there is room for up to 10 colleges on this form. Because applications for two academic years will be available, it's gonna be really important that you fill out the right one. And so for seniors in high school that will be graduating in June of 2022, we are looking at that application being available October 1st, 2021. Now that's not a deadline. That is the first date it's available for the class of 2022. And students will be filling out the 2022-2023 version. Deadlines will vary from college to college. And again, it's really important to figure out which deadlines you have. Try to meet the earliest deadline as the date that you want to complete your FAFSA. In addition, all Vermont students should be looking to file a Vermont grant application. Students can file the Vermont grant application beginning October 1st, the year before they need that financial aid. And so for the class of 2022, the VSAC grant application will be available online October 1st of 2021. Again, students will want to use the 2022-2023 version, the year the student will attend college. And it's required that students file this in order to be considered for Vermont grant money. Students will want to apply early, check their status, and complete all of this information online. And you can fill out the forms online as well as upload documents. It's important that students must create a MyVSAC account before they apply. And again, they will use a non-high school email address to create that account. It's also important to remember that the Vermont grant is currently fully portable. You can take your Vermont grant with you if you're going to an out-of-state college. So please do not let that be the reason that you don't file a Vermont grant application. 